This video is about the fake charities and how there's no real charities that exist. And I just posted a video about how I cannot get any help for real serious issues. And I'm looking at supposed charity sites and they're not. They're of no use and no help. First of all, baby clothes, it's like you can't give those away for free. So if there's a website, if there's a site or an organization that gives away baby clothes, and they don't even have it. It's just a place where people can post and then other people can decide to give. But you can't ask for any real help. Anything that actually makes a difference in someone's lives. Guys, no one needs baby clothes. Like everybody has like everybody that has babies, like they outgrow it quickly and then they don't need to keep it. So then they can just pass it on. This is something that is so easy to obtain. And even if you had to buy it, there are thrift stores. There are places where you could buy baby clothes for just a few dollars, less than ten dollars. This is not what people need. This is not real help. Okay, so I go to this site um, looking for real charity, which does not exist. We need real charity. We're in desperate need of real charity, of real help. There are no real charities. And I'm putting this out there now that from what I've been through, I could make a real charity. I know what people need. I know what people don't have access to and does not exist. It's don't ask, don't tell. You're not allowed to ask for what you actually need. You're not allowed to ask for help, which is services, which are things that it's not um, only a few dollars. Guys, uh, you technically don't even need baby clothes. If you have a newborn baby, uh, you could just wrap them in a blanket or one of your shirts. And I know this sounds silly. I know this sounds ridiculous, but um, there are things that we really need. Now, there are food banks that will feed people, but they don't feed people healthy food. They're giving people pork. They're giving people GMOs. They're giving people chemicals. There's no way to get healthy food that's halal, that's permissible. There's no way to get God-approved food, first of all. The free food they give away is Walmart great value. Um, it's nothing that you should eat. And guys, um, here's another truth about free food, is that we can fast and we can go 40 days without eating. So if it comes down to it, you can go 40 days without eating. Maybe a young child can't. That young child should not be eating GMOs. So we can get a bag of rice, and we can get some beans, and we can eat. Now, I see people giving away unhealthy food full of chemicals, pork, and GMOs. But no one is giving away organic food, even if it's rice and beans. There's no organic rice. There's no organic beans being given away. There's no God-approved food being given away. Okay. Uh, there are poison, cancer-causing cancer foods being given away. So this is just an example of the type of charities that exist. So if I go online, um, this is not a charity. I'm going to tell you what is a real charity and what is not. So here is Angel Warriors, fake, non-profit organization, fake charity. First of all, it's not even a charity because it's people go on there and people ask and people give. So let's see what kind of items are on here. Does anyone have ballet clothes or shoes? Does anyone have ballet shoes? Does that sound like a charity? Guys, the people that need help can't afford ballet. The people that need help can't afford ballet lessons. If you can afford ballet lessons, then you can afford ballet shoes. I'm not saying not to ask, but you could ask this anywhere. Um, this is not what people... There are people destitute. There are people like... And yes, if you're on the street with absolutely nothing, if absolutely nothing, you can find a place to spend the night. Unless you're an addict. Okay. And someone here asking for newborn baby girl clothes. Okay, but you know what? Then they're like, it can't have any holes, it can't have any rips, and it can't have any stains. Um, but it's not the people asking. They don't say that. It's the website. So if you have a lot of baby clothes to give for free, but they have a stain, you can't give that. Even though you would still be using that if you had a need. No, if you're in need, you'll take ribs holes and you'll take stains. So, then there's a lot more to give when it doesn't need to be perfect. And you wear it once, it's stained. So, let's see. Someone is asking for extra large hoodies and shoes. Guys, here's the thing. This is nice. It's good to give these things. But people that really need charity are so beyond needing a hoodie. Like, there are people that need help. They don't need a hoodie. It's like you can get by without a hoodie. You know, you can wear some t-shirts and put on a coat, and maybe it's not a hoodie, but you're going to survive. Okay, and there are shoes. So, 
someone asking for kids clothes okay once again you can go to the thrift store or you know you can just go and get free clothes that stains or has some holes in it and that's okay um, let's see so people are offering to give away blankets decor holiday decor and clothes that's nice these things are good in I'm not denying that this isn't a nice thing to do, but people that really need help, that really need charity, that have been with narcissists, this doesn't help any of us, and there are no resources for us. Let's see. So someone's giving away ice cube trays in a vase. So this is kind of like a yard sale. Um, the gas costs more than the item you're getting. This is not what people need. If the plumbing is out in your house and you can't use the water, that is a big deal. There are no resources. There's no help for people like that. If you have holes in your roof, uh, if people like scam you, where are the charities for people that have been scammed? Where are the charities for people that like, they have uh, animal infestations in their homes? They have holes in their roof. Their plumbing is out. Where are the charities for this? And where are the charities for organic food? Or it doesn't have to be organic. Um, food with no GMOs, because that's forbidden in the Bible. Where are the food? So let's take rice and beans. We don't ask for lobsters. We don't need lobsters. But um, rice and beans that don't have GMOs and that don't have cancer-causing chemicals. Where is that? That's not. There's nowhere you can go to get these things. So uh, if somebody... Um, if some millionaire wants to put me in charge of a charity that can help, I know what people need. I know what people need because I've been there. I'm still there, but uh, when you try to follow God, there's certain things that you can't do. There's certain things you can't consume. So when you don't have running water, you don't care if you have a hoodie or ballet shoes. Here's the truth. If you can afford ballet lessons, if you can afford ballet lessons, you can afford ballet shoes. This is not a charity. This is angel warriors. This is not a charity. This is not healthy. Um, this might as well just be any other Facebook sales page. And they just say all oh, this stuff's free. Or like you go to Craigslist and they have a free section. This is not real charity. People that are really destitute can find some way to scrounge up a t-shirt. Or a pair of shoes somewhere. Thing is, if it's free, it might be in bad shape. But God specifically commands us about certain things that we are not to consume and eat and place in our bodies. So we need uh, real Christian charities. And the thing is that um, there, there are certain foods that we're supposed to eat and not eat. We need food banks that have non-GMO food. Uh, where the animals are slaughtered in a God godly manner. Uh, where it's halal, it's not forbidden. Okay, so halal is Muslim, but we also have in the Jewish guidelines. And guess what, guys? These continue on for the Christians. is because Jesus did not come to overturn the law, but to continue it. Uh, there are dietary guidelines. There are dietary guidelines. And they take one verse out of context to say it doesn't matter what you eat. No, that's not what that meant. You still couldn't eat pork and GMOs. Pork and GMOs are still forbidden. They continue to be forbidden. What that verse is talking about is low quality versus high class food. Or high class versus low class food. Like ramen noodles versus, um, you know, gold uh, dusted chocolate and lobsters. Okay, it was saying it didn't matter what you eat if you ate hot dogs. But guess what? You can't eat pork. You have to eat your beef, beef franks. You can't eat GMOs. Those things are forbidden in your Bible. Read your Old Testament. They tell you not to read your Old Testament. Old Testament very much still applies. So, when I look at um, this charity site, there's nothing. There are no real charities. No real, nothing people need is on here. Unfortunately, in the modern world, there are bills that need to be paid. And, of course, you can't ask for help paying a bill. I understand that local churches might. Uh, but for the chosen, we're not welcome in churches. We're not welcome in churches because the spirits that run these uh, manifest and they work against us and cast spells on us while we go to the churches. So we cannot go to churches for help. And I do believe this is part of God's plan as the whole system needs to be overturned and God's people will be placed back into control. Um, justice repayment is supposed to be here now. Um, I'm willing to run a charity. I know what people need. I'm willing to help people repair their homes. I'm in a situation, I need my home repaired now. I have to be able to use my plumbing. 
and I've got holes in my ceiling, and I've got animals, wild creatures getting in here. I need help. And yes, I did, uh, I was responsible. I did pay to have things fixed. You know what can happen if, as a chosen one. You know how multiple times a week you're just slammed and slammed and slammed, and this happens for more than a year, and then all your money is gone, and you have no one. You have no friends, no family. Well, uh, I need, I need help, okay? I need my situation fixed, but past that, um, I know what people need, and I can help. I know what people need, I know what to look for, and I know what foods we're allowed to eat and not eat. So it, it's not going to be anything fancy, it's not going to taste the best, but it'll do, and you won't be sitting. So I'm continuing to look at this. Okay, somebody's asking for a toaster oven. Okay, you know, maybe that is charity. Maybe somebody can't afford it. There are no responses, and uh, there might be. So maybe someone does need a stove or a toaster oven, and that would be real charity. I'd not see a response to that. So asking for a swing, like a baby swing. See, these are things that are nice, but they're not necessities. You might say that running water in your home is a necessity. You might say that holes in your roof is something that needs to be fixed. But there's nowhere to ask and there's nowhere to get help for these things. Very limited resources exist. Um, we don't need baby clothes and when you ask for food you can only ask once every two weeks. And you can't ask for organic. You can't ask for non-GMO. And so if it comes down to it you can also fast and that's the point where I might have to be. Uh, guys, uh, I'm expressing my anger, my righteous anger at the system that we live in to where the charity does exist but it's not for the most pressing issues and it's in a way to where you have to kind of conform with the world and you can't um, you can't still be strictly religious and adhere to things that are important to God so you kind of have to go along and compromise with the world in order to accept charity in the first place and you'll find that there really aren't charities for very important things so uh, sometimes there are government grants um, these require you to submit certain income statements and things which like say you were a stay-at-home mom, you don't have. And that's one of the reasons maybe I didn't get a grant before. Being a stay-at-home mom. So if you were a stay-at-home mom with a narcissist, you don't have financial documents. You don't even have paperwork saying you're poor. So you can't even qualify for that stuff in the first place. Guys, we seriously need help. And uh, we need real charities that can provide the help that people need. Angel Warriors does not. Um, I'm going to try a few more, but, you know, I have contacted several places, and it has been a disappointment. And I understand that, yes, families do need help, but at the same time, if you're going out to movies, then you don't need to be asking for charity. If you're going out to restaurants, you don't need charity. I don't go to restaurants. I don't go to movies. Um, I have no friends and family here. They were all demons. And so, like, I understand that I'm not alone. Here at the end of the age, there's a lot of people in the same situation as me. And some of them are homeless. Now, if you have nothing, and you don't have to preserve anything, then it might be fine to get by. But not to eat healthy, God-approved meals. That's difficult. Like, you still can't get food that is halal or kosher. And also, Christians are supposed to uh, eat certain foods and not eat certain foods. So, there's still nowhere to get healthy food. Uh, without sinning and the foods that have been um, dedicated to idols yes we can pray over the food but still uh, we need to follow God and if by hunger we if by hunger uh, we make an error and we sin then we still have to ask forgiveness and try not to so it'd be best if there was just some place where we could get really cheap uh, budget food that is non-gmo and uh, perhaps is vegan because getting uh, meat that has been the animal's been slaughtered in a proper way. is very difficult. So, sorry for this little rate here. But this is important. Uh, for people that need it, they know that there aren't real charities. If you're actually in desperate need of help, you're not going to be asking for hoodies and ballet shoes. You're not going to ask for a swing. These are wants, and these are luxuries. But they are not necessities. And there are a lot of people that need necessities, and there are no resources for us. Thanks for listening. Post your questions, comments, and concerns. God bless you guys.